Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be learning about properties. This includes the commutative property, associative property, distributive property, and identity property. So without further ado, let's head on straight into this video. So there's commutative property, associative property, identity property, and distributive property as I said in the beginning of this video. Now, the commutative property. This rule only applies when we're talking about addition or multiplication. It does not apply to subtra subtraction and division. And I'll tell you all why that is in a bit. So what does the commutative property state? Well, it states if you have a number plus another number or a number times another number, it will be equal to if you take the second number plus the first number or the second number times the first number. Now, this is 3 plus 5 is equal to 5 plus 3. Well, those are both 8 and 5, 8 and 8, and 15 and 15 for 3 times 5. But if we're doing 5 minus 3, well, that's not equal to 3 minus 5 because that's negative 2, not 2. Or 15 divided by 3 versus 3 divided by 15. Well, those are not equal, which is why the commutative property only applies to addition and multiplication. Now, time for the associative property. There are two different kinds of associative property, just like commutative property for addition and multiplication. If your teacher is picky, you might want to ask them if they want you to specify if it's of multiplication or of addition. So this rule, as I said, only applies to addition and multiplication. So let's go ahead and say what the associative property actually means. Well, the associative property means if we take x plus y plus c and we put x plus y in parentheses, well, that will equal x plus y plus c, but y and z are in parentheses. If that doesn't make sense, just look at my screen. And same with multiplication. And so I'll show you an example just so that this makes a bit more sense. So let's say we have, let's say we had something like 3 plus 5 in parentheses plus 2. Well, that is equal to 10 because 3 plus 5 is 8 plus 2, that's 10. And if we have 3 plus 5 plus 2, well, that is still equal to 10, even though the parentheses have changed. Same with multiplication. We have 3 times 5, which is 15 times 2, which is 30. And 5 times 2 is 10 times 3, which is 30. So as you can see, this rule applies to only multiplication and addition but it won't apply to anything else. So I just put those in some brackets to show you that they are examples. For identity property, there's identity property of multiplication and identity property of addition. There is no identity property of subtraction or division, and you'll see why in a bit, and you can apply what the identity property kind of means and see if that would work with um, division and subtraction, but it won't. So the identity property of addition is zero, and the identity property of multiplication is one. You might be like, why? Well, if you take a number and add zero, well, that it's equal to the number. And if you multiply a number by one, it's still that number. So that means if you take a certain number and multiply it to one, it will always be that number. So that's why there's only for addition and a multiplication not subtraction and division distributive property is more used in algebra but i thought i'd throw it in and it's if you have something like x and then in parentheses x plus or minus y well then you would take x and multiply it to x and you'd multiply it to y and this applies and then the sign will stay the same so let's say we have two in parentheses six plus five well if we distribute the two we will get 12 plus 10 and that is equal to 22. And also, if we go ahead and just do the parentheses first because of PEMDAS, we have 11 times 12 or 2, which is equal to 22. Distributive property is more used in algebra, as I said, so it won't apply that much if you're taking currently some, some basic arithmetic. So now I'm gonna write a couple um, equations and I would like you guys to identify the properties used. You don't need to write it down. Just keep it in your head so you remember. So the first equation is this one. And then you'll go ahead and see as I write the list. And then just think in your head, what property is this? I will give you 30 seconds to identify all the properties used in all of the equations.
Did you do it? Let's check if you got the correct answer. So the first one is the associative property because the parentheses moved. And if you want to write up addition or of multiplication, that's better just so that it's more specific. The second one is the commutative property of multiplication because it's multiplying and the number switched spots. And for the next one, it's the identity property of multiplication because we're multiplying by one and a number times one is equal to the number. And then the next one is of addition because if you add zero to a number, then it's equal to itself. And the last one, the distributive property because if you distribute the three, you will get three X plus three Y. Congrats, you made it to the end of this video. Whether you needed help with this concept, you wanted some extra practice, or you just wanted to review. I hope you learned something or got some extra practice in. It'd mean the world to me if you subscribed and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a brand new video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. It just tells me if I need to improve anything. And remember, you can always comment on my discussion page with any suggestions you may have for my videos. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or more, just go ahead and email me. And my email is always in the description box. Bye, everyone!